So this may end up being multiple parts just because it is quite the story. And I couldn't even believe that it happened myself. But uh, so Zeus was having problems with his leg. So I called to make an appointment. They set up an appointment for tomorrow. So Christmas Eve at 8 a.m. And I said, okay. So a couple hours go by and he hasn't moved off of his bed, which he's a puppy. So that's very unlike him. And he was moaning a lot. So I called back and I said, hey, is there some pain medication I can give him to get him through till his appointment tomorrow? Because he really seems like he's, you know, in discomfort. And she said, Oh, well, if he's lethargic, then we probably need to have him seen today. So I said, okay, great. So here, so she sets up the appointment and then they call me back and say, um, that the normal visit is $55, but it is $95. I think is what it was for him to be seen for an emergency visit. And I said, okay, that's fine. She's like, Oh, sorry. The girl should have told you that before. She's like, can you afford that? And I was like, yeah, yes, thank, thank you, though. It's a weird thing to ask, but okay. So then um, I get called back again and say, okay, at 3 o'clock, the, um, they had a cancellation. So if I bring him in, then they'll reduce the cost, and he can be seen for the regular cost of $55. So I'm like, okay, great, sure, be there at 3 o'clock. So I go, and the vet essentially tells me that um, he – needs an x-ray and I said okay well what are you seeing that makes you believe that and she said you know whatever she said and uh that his foot was really painful and like for part three so she said his foot was really painful and that it looked like there's some type of injury to it but not an infection or anything like that it just looked like maybe he had he had broke a toe or something like that so I'm like okay how much is that and she's like 350 dollars I was like okay fine go ahead let's you know get it done so she goes ahead and she um, tells me the cost at this point is now $400. So I'm like, okay. So she gets the x-ray or she tells me it's going to be a while. So why don't I go run some errands or whatever and come back? So I leave and I don't get a call back. So I wait an hour, don't get a call back. And I'm just sitting there waiting. So I finally call and I'm like, Hey, what's up? And she's like, Oh, we still haven't gotten to the x-ray. I'm like, okay, well, how's he doing? She's like, Oh, he's in a lot of pain. And I'm like, okay, have you given him anything? And she said, no. So I'm like, okay. So they finally get the x-ray and um, tell me I can come pick him up at 5.30. So I'm at 5.30, I'm going to go pick him up. Like for part four, then sorry. I go over and I get another call and say, oh, no, he's actually ready. It's 5 o'clock. And I say, oh, okay, what did the x-ray show, show? And the guy goes, oh, his foot. I go, yeah, I know. I'm looking for some actual results. And he goes, oh, I can't tell you that. The doctor has to tell you that. And I said, okay. So I go over there, it's five o'clock now. So I go over and I pull up and I ask for um, Zeus. Hi, buddy. And they bring, or, and then she goes, okay, that'll be $433. And I go, what? And she goes, oh, I'll read you, that'll be $433. And I said, well, I haven't even talked to the doctor yet. And I go, what, 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 what's the extra $33? And she said, oh, it's for his medication. I go, what medication? And she goes, oh, I can't tell you that. And I go, wait, what? I go, what medication are you talking about? And I go, what is wrong with him? And she's like, oh, I don't know. Uh, the doctor has to tell you that, but I'm going to ring you out. And so I tell her, I'm like, well, can I talk to the doctor? Because at this point now I'm panicking because obviously he's hurt. Something's wrong. Like, report talk to the doctor. And she's like, oh, no, you can't talk to the doctor unless you pay your bill. And I go, wait, you just called me to tell me that something's wrong with him, that he needs medication, but you won't tell me until I pay my bill. And she's like, yeah, and it's $433. And I go, so you want me to pay for a medication that I don't even know what it is, but he needs it because something's wrong with him. And she's like, yes. And I go, okay. So at this point, obviously, I just want my dog back because I'm, like, hysterical because obviously he's my baby. Look at him. You can tell he doesn't feel good. And so she was like, fine. So I literally go online, pay the bill, wait some more. Then the doctor calls me and she's like, oh, his x-ray is fine. So we're just going to even pay meds. And I go, okay, well, what do you think's wrong with him? And she's like, oh, I don't really know. And I'm like, okay, well, can you give me some clue as to what could possibly be wrong with him or what we need to do? Like for part so six, I, at this point, I'm like trying to get some answers out of her. And she's like, essentially says, give him pain meds and calls back if it doesn't get better. And I'm like, okay. And then I tell her, I said, you know, I've always really enjoyed coming here, but today it has felt very money hungry. I go, I've received phone calls asking me if I can afford the vet visit. And then I was just told that I couldn't talk to you until 
um, I paid my bill, but that um, something was wrong with Zeus. And um, she's like, oh, I don't think that's how it was meant. And I go, oh, I understand that maybe that's not how it was meant, but I'm telling you how it came across as a customer. Because obviously, look at my animal. He's helpless. I have to be his advocate. And I just couldn't believe that the way that they treated me today. It's like, it's Christmas Eve Eve. Obviously, I have a hurt animal. They knew he was in a lot of pain. They took their sweet ass time. They didn't give him medication. All they did is lock him in a kennel, give him an x-ray, and then call and tell me that absolutely nothing's wrong with him that they can tell. Like for part And seven. the doctor or the veterinarian was literally the most heartless person I've ever talked to. Like she literally had no care in the world. So I'm like, okay, that's fine. So give him the pain meds, rest, and call you if it doesn't if it doesn't get better. And she's like, yep. And then the vet tech brings out Zeus. And I told him, because he has always been so nice. I don't know what his name is. I wish I knew. But he has always been incredibly nice, incredibly caring. You can tell he just loves animals. And I told him, I go, I've always really enjoyed you. And I go, I've always really enjoyed coming here. I go, but today, honestly, just felt like you wanted my money. And that's what was most important. And nobody even seemed to care about Zeus. Nobody seemed to care about the fact that he was in pain, that he had to sit in a kennel waiting for an x-ray. Nobody wanted to give him medication. Nothing. I go, you guys honestly just cared about whether or not you got paid. And that was it. And the guy really apologizes. He's like, oh, I'm so sorry. That's normally not how it is. And I told him, I like, I, un- I said, I understand that. But today, I go, I just shelled out $433 to be treated horrible for my animal to be treated horrible and then to get absolutely no answers and not even like a hey put ice on it or I I don't know I don't know what I expected her to say but I just expected her to have some sort of a heart and she was literally the most heartless person I've ever met which scares me because obviously they had my animal for hours um and I don't know it was just horrible and so obviously we're never gonna go back there again but I guess the moral of the story is that be careful who you take your animals to because apparently some of them are only out for money and it was horrible and it left me crying hysterically in the car because obviously he's my baby and I just wanted him to be taken care of and I was willing to shell out any amount of money to make sure he was taken care of and all they cared about was getting my money and not actually taking care of my animal which is incredibly sad.